Hi friends! Welcome to First Baptist Church Children's Sunday School Online Program. I pray that all of us will have a blessed time this morning. God bless! Feet are always in motion, taking me to anywhere. But where you want me, I try to keep things constantly moving. I'm hoping for a faster way than what you're doing. But your love is chasing after me, it's chasing after me. There's nowhere I could ever hide, cause you keep coming. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and blessing in our life. Help us, Lord, to learn more about you and be devoted to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, we are going to learn how God is good from Genesis 37. Do you still remember the story about Joseph? Yes. He had two dreams that make his brothers jealous to him and plan to kill him, but then they sold him to an Egypt man. Now listen to the story. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved his son Joseph the most. He gave Joseph a special brightly colored coat. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. They hated him. Joseph also had special dreams. In my dream, we were tying up bundles of wheat, he said, and your bundles bowed down to mine. Joseph's brothers hate him even more. Joseph had another dream. The sun, the moon, and eleven stars bow down before me. His father and brothers grumbled. Are you saying you will rule over us? One day, Joseph's brothers were in the fields watching their ship. They saw him coming to see them. They planned to kill him 
and put an end to all his dreams. It would be wrong to kill our brother, said Reuben. Let's throw him in this empty well. So they tore off Joseph's special coat and threw him into the well. Ishmaelite traders came by on their way to Egypt. Let's sell Joseph as a slave to the Ishmaelites, suggested Judah. So the brothers sold Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. Then the brothers dipped Joseph's coat in goat's blood and showed it to Jacob. My son is dead, he wept. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken to Egypt, but God was with Joseph. In Egypt, the Ismailites sold Joseph to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's captains. God blessed Joseph and made him successful. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his whole household. So children, we can see how God worked through some very difficult situation in Joseph's life and used them for good. We know that God is good. He loves us and has good plans for us. He takes even the hard things and brings good out of them. How do you want to respond to God today? You may praise Him and thank Him for His goodness in your life. The events in Joseph's life went from good to bad and back to good, but we know that in the end God planned everything for good because He is good. God used Joseph's lives for a purpose bigger than the troubles he faced. God used everything in Joseph's life including the difficult things for his plan, the saving of many lives. Remember always that all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. God is good all the time. He has a great big love for you and me. So we have to learn to depend on Him always in our lives. God is a great big God
thank you to be always good in our life. Thank you that you always hold our hands. Help us, Lord, to share your love to those who need you as God and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us read the Bible memory first for this week together. Deuteronomy 7 verse 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping His covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who